Are we alone in this universe? It's a question that has haunted mankind for decades. And now a new spacecraft is on its way to find the answer. It's called the Europa Clipper. It's a $5 billion NASA probe. It will travel to Europa, which is one of Jupiter's many icy moons. Scientists believe that below Europa's icy crust is a vast ocean of water. And where there's water, there is hope for life. So how long will this mission take? What does this, this clipper hope to achieve? And will it change the way we look at life in this universe? Our next report looks for answers. This is Europa, one of Jupiter's 95 moons. It's a world encased in ice, a place where the secrets of life itself may lie hidden beneath its frozen crust. And now, it's the destination for NASA's most ambitious mission yet, the Europa Clipper. The NASA spacecraft is on its way to the icy moon, searching for answers to one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? But the journey isn't an easy one. Europa is located 628 million kilometers from Earth. Of course, no spacecraft has enough fuel for it. So what will the Europa Clipper do? It will use the gravity of Mars and Earth to propel itself. And it will be quite a long haul. It will only approach Europa by 2030. So what does it expect to find? Europa isn't an ordinary moon, it has an ice crust, stretching tens of kilometers, that itself is impressive. But beneath its ice crust, scientists believe there lies a vast ocean of liquid water, an ocean stirred and warmed by the immense gravitational pull of Jupiter. A place where life may just exist. Scientists have known this for some time now, they first thought it could support life in the 1970s. In 1995, NASA's Galileo spacecraft flew past Europa, it took some close-up photos, the surface had dark, reddish-brown cracks, which hinted at the presence of other substances. You see, water alone is not enough. To harbor life, a world needs more, elements like carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Scientists believe Europa has that. But no mission has flown close enough to explore it. But Europa Clipper's mission is not just about observing a moon. It's about collecting evidence, like dust particles, and fly-through water plumes. But this won't be easy. Jupiter's magnetic field causes intense radiation. The NASA spacecraft has to fly past Europa about 50 times, and it will be blasted with radiation every single time. But Europa seems prepared for the task. After all, the spaceship is the largest ever built to visit a planet. Given everything that we've really learned about necessary conditions for life, Clipper is going to tell us if Europa has all of these ingredients for life. But the Europa Clipper won't be alone in this quest. The European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, will also be there, studying not just Europa, but other ocean-bearing moons like Ganymede and Callisto. Together, these missions aim to paint the most detailed picture yet of these mysterious worlds. After all, this is not just a mission to another moon. It's a journey to the edge of what we know about life's potential in this universe and beyond. First Post decodes the U.S. election explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.